Ghost of Tsushima is a game what was developed by Sucker Punch Productions and released or published by Sony in July 2020. Roughly a year later, in August 2021, they also released a PlayStation 5 version. And I think it is absolutely crazy that this game is already or almost four years old because I can clearly remember when I started playing this game for the very first time on my PlayStation 4 Pro. And back then I had no idea about HDR, absolutely no idea. This was around the time when I bought the LG ZX and I have to admit I actually disabled HDR on the PlayStation 4 because I found the picture just way too bright. Thanks God. Now I know how to use HDR, how to set up HDR in games because it would be such a shame if I would miss such a great HDR implementation like in Ghost of Tsushima. Speaking of setting up HDR in the correct way, it is a must, it is mandatory, crucial that you set up HDR on the PlayStation 5 in the correct way because otherwise you would end up with a bad HDR presentation because this game supports or relies on the HDR calibration on the PlayStation 5. And if you don't know how to set up the HDR system level calibration on the PlayStation 5, then don't panic because I have covered you. In the description, there's a link to another video where I explain how to use this menu. The only other setting what we have in the game to adjust HDR is the brightness setting, but even you wouldn't touch the setting and you would leave the slider at the factory setting, which is 50, you're actually good to go. But I found, I personally found, that's a personal preference, that leaving it at 50 is a little bit too dark for my opinion. And the good news is that even you increase this setting slightly, let's say to 100, you are not raising the HDR black level floor. In certain situations, you still have zero nits output, which is absolutely yeah, necessary, mandatory for OLED TVs, in my opinion. But of course, setting this or setting the brightness level to 100 will wash out the rest of the picture. So that's not a recommended settings, in my opinion. I would recommend to try a setting between 60 and 70 because, again, I found 50 slightly too dark. But that's just my opinion. Give it a try. Again, the HDR black level floor in this game is just spot on. And it's very interesting when we're now comparing this great HDR implementation from 2021, when we're talking about the PlayStation 5 version, and comparing this with recent release AAA games like Skull and Bones, Suicide Squad, Starfield. I mean, come on, what's going on with HDR in those games? And it's not about the specular highlights. It's really about the black level floor, which is in all three games what I named absolutely terrible. So this game from 2021 is reference in regards of the HDR implementation and some studios should take some notes. Okay, my friends, so there's not much more to say about this game. This game is just a great experience, not just because of HDR, because of the gameplay, because of the setting, because of the graphics and visual quality. I mean, Yes, you can see the game is already a little bit outdated comparing this now with titles like Horizon Forbidden West after all the patches, of course, after the latest download content Horizon Forbidden West is, is a no-brainer when it comes to one of the best visual games on the PlayStation 5. But Ghost of Tsushima still makes a great figure and with HDR it is just absolutely to recommend. It would be such a big waste if you just play this game in SDR. But of course you should have a proper HDR screen, a proper HDR monitor or TV like the, let's say, the LG ZX as a bare minimum. And I don't mean that you must have an LG ZX to enjoy HDR. I'm just talking about the maximum peak brightness of an LG ZX, which your TV monitor screen should have. And the maximum peak brightness of the LG ZX is roughly around 700 to 800 nits. And if you have a screen TV or monitor which is not able to yeah, provide 700 nits as a bare minimum, then I would not consider this as a great HDR experience. It is probably better that you play the game in SDR. But again, give it a try. If you like HDR better, then just go for it.